Uh oh, 60 seconds. I think he has early access. Probably. I mean, Skump's going live at 1.2. Okay, then I'm guessing they have early access. Yeah, so they must, like, the trailer must be going on, then they're probably playing it afterwards. Yeah, which is smart. Really smart. Alright, let's get this. What are, we, what are we doing? So this is the multiplayer reveal, right? Yeah. Okay. 30 seconds. Oh, we got a map in this top right-hand corner. Yeah. Can't tell what it is, but... Because, like, a, the first thing that came to my mind was Raid, but... Yeah. It's not so Raid. Zooming in on the, okay, here we go. Eight, seven, okay, six. I'm, I'm two seconds behind you. Oh, okay. There's also so many people watching. Okay. I mean, this is already sick. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh. Here we go. Hi, everyone. I'm David Vonderhaar, studio design director at Treyarch. Welcome to the multiplayer reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. On behalf of the teams at Treyarch and Raven and all go our right development there. partners across the world, mm -hmm. thank you for joining us. Today, we do a little recon across all Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. The world, the missions, the weapons, the characters, and the systems. And you know, we'll make some fun announcements along Heck the way. You better. From here on out, we talk directly to you, the best fans in gaming. Do you think we're Joining me the, uh, the show a is a big cast of characters from across Hopefully. the studio, along with some of your favorite Call of Duty content creators and streamers. Oh? One thing you've come to expect from a Black Ops game is that we are never quite satisfied with the status quo. We are always looking for a way to do it better. But some things shouldn't change, and for every multiplayer game we make, one thing has it. How we start things off. This is the worldwide debut of the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer trailer. Oh, the camera work. Oh, boy. I'm just standing. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This is PlayStation 5. So this is next gen. Yep. This is multiplayer. Wait, Notorious Conor McGregor about to be in this or what? Threat neutralized. You're here. That's the Galil. The best special forces NATO has to offer. All that keeps yeah, the world from like turning it. to cinders, comrades. The MP5 is in it. I know that. There's the MP7. The shadows. To keep AK. the wolves at bay. Yeah, Today, AK. we reach the world. What the fuck are we doing? Oh, this map is cool. This was in the league. The, the yeah. Miami map. I'm mean, obviously I'm not gonna judge like time to kill or anything like that in this because this all could be like yeah, yeah, yeah. a campaign or whatever. Right? The grenade that. launchers back to the score streak. Let's go. Oh, this is a cool map. Okay. Maybe this one will fit the whole world. But it shows them in the water. This, is, this must be a ground war map. Either that or like Battle Royale. Yeah, it could be part of the zone, I guess. Go, go, go! Is that what they're calling it for like now on? Yeah, well that's the thing that's gonna link all the games from here on out. Secure the sub. I'll take care of this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, these are these are maps, North America angle. I mean, these don't look like maps, so they just look like campaign or like uh. Don't look war zone. Really big one. It's ground. Well, yeah, that's stupid. Nobody wants that shit. Strike and power. Ah, shit. Well, I don't know if you can actually do that, but. Just. <laughs> I'll drive. Because, like, time to kill on this seems like three, four bullets. Unless we have multiple. Although I doubt it. Yeah, I mean, this just looks like one map, maybe. Yeah, they're not gonna have a multiplayer map in the mountains. There's no way. Plus, with vehicles? No. Vonahar is smarter than that. 
Yeah, this is the ground war or something. Yeah, no, that's the yeah, I think this is the ground war. I mean, looks sick, but like everything looks sick when you have all that stuff. Yeah, there it is. Get early access to the open October eighth, first on PS. That's so stupid. Modern warfare and war zone. Okay, what else we got though? You just saw it. This is an unapologetically Cold War game set in the eighties, but it's still a Black Ops game. And for over a decade, we built our multiplayer experiences atop a core set of guiding principles. They form our pillars, deniable operations that deploy around the world, signature combat tailored to how you play, okay. connected experiences that deliver free, robust, ongoing content, and integrate deeply into the next evolution of Warzone. Today, we're going to explore each of these facets of multiplayer. We're gonna show you how this globe-trotting, cinematically connected experience is our most immersive yet. And then we're going to show it to you in a way we never could before, with a little help from some friends. First up, the bedrock of Black Ops, Deniable Operations. These are the places in multiplayer you never saw, and the things These you never camera angles from the studio is kind of weird. The missions that stay cool. off the books, and the targets and sources who stay off the record. The Cold War we set out to build is realistic. It's plausible. Most importantly, it's inspired by a gritty historical tone that we've woven into every element of our game's world and story and gameplay. Chaotic and always confidential, the deniable ops lie at the heart of multiplayer, raising the bar while creating a clear and unique okay. narrative that influences every bit of our world building. For Black Ops Cold War, that world building drove each multiplayer level in two ways. With the signature level design that, you come to expect, oh no, and by pushing the visual bar and immersing it players like, into a um, narrative of unfolding events, station or whatever, the fight to recover a downside of the Central it. African desert, battles that unfold on the neon-soaked streets of Miami. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. South <clears throat> Deniable ops are the Black Ops stories inspired by history, but forgotten by the history books. Okay. We've selected five maps to give you a small taste of the range of deniable ops awaiting in multiplayer. Later today, you'll see them playing. But here's a few of my teammates here to share what they love most. From yeah, here comes rain. somebody. Oh, never mind. My name is Brittany oh. Vidalman. I'm a level designer. I'm Kendall Snow, Same associate level player. designer. Oh. I'm Brittany Perello, producer. I'm Matt Kutris, senior level designer. In satellite, a top secret American recon satellite has lost power and crashed in the deserts of Angola. With hired DGI forces closing in, now it's a race to secure the crash site. What I love about satellite is the fact that it's just this amazing natural space. Because larger maps have more components, we can apply more details into maps like satellite, which make them feel even this more is, natural. Uh... The satellite at the center is like a king of the hill. Anyone who wants it has to run what? toward you because it's raised higher than the rest of the map. Was it Modern Warfare or Modern Warfare 2? I'm usually oh, playing one of two ways. Has a very All in, map. full ham, dying again and again. Or in objective modes, I'll flank and get the jump on people. Satellite scratches both of those itches. Even though it's an outdoor space, the map's two different regions mean I can play long and short range tactics. I'll be honest, I am trash with the sniper rifle, but a shotgun, that I can do. I have always been a big fan of close quarters combat, and there is great cat and mouse style gameplay in satellite. The crash satellite is a super fun spot to try and outplay your enemies. I mean, obviously, I don't want to judge this too hard until I get to play, but... They haven't shown you anything to judge, really. Yeah, I know. This is going to be one of those classic Black Ops maps. The world knows and loves for how quickly engagements fire up. He has walked through an explosion, by the way. East and West collide on the open seas in a top-secret mission. Inspired by a real-life event, Project Azorian, CIA, JSOC, and Soviet forces converge to recover a sunken prototype nuclear Soviet submarine from the ocean floor. The calm waters of Armada explode into massive naval conflict as players battle for control of large naval vessels. With no lanes walling you in, players can engage on ships, decks, in the water, and on vehicles like wake runners and gunboats. Armada is chaos in the best way. <laughs> this really cool map that gives us amazing. See, that one looks super cool, so but like I feel like no one's gonna really enjoy that. And new ways to surround <laughs> or flank your enemies and get. You know what I mean? It's just like too wide open and too much crap going on. 
A hidden safe house has been discovered right in the heart of the USSR, in the shadow of Moscow's opulent train station. This With is going to be an S and D map for sure. The area this will be a calm gone map. Hot. So the Moscow map is set in the dead heart of a big city. I don't know. So you're wandering through the Obviously, we're only seeing little bits and pieces of a couple of parts cars, of the map. And there's yeah. tall buildings on but either side of you. There's this sense that you've been dropped into a point in history. First thing I do is run right to the center because that's where all lanes cross in the Moscow map. And eventually, it doesn't take long, people are gonna run through the metro station. So you can just sit there and wait, but chances are there's gonna be people running right into your line of fire right off the bat. It's a classic three lane map where teamwork okay. really so they just said three lane. They just said we designed this for calm. This will be calm. January 17, 1984. This location is heavily I don't like how dark this map Miami's is. Miami's famous or perhaps infamous Ocean Drive. This is a night map, but one unlike players have seen before. I feel like it won't be a calm map just due to that fact. Alleys, go out onto the beach, out into the ocean. You can dive in the water and wade along the coast to get the drop on the other side. Like just because it's a or night map and it's just dark right and shadows and bullshit. Bask in the I don't neon think it's like a map. Unless they came out with a day the first time more, I played through Miami, like, I could hear this 80s nightclub music playing through the walls of one of the buildings. The little details make it lifelike and it becomes this joy to experience. Basically, my goal is to never be on the main street in the center because that is sniper heaven and that is Britney hell. <laughs> so I always go and try to flank and get those snipers from the back. Okay, so I see mobile Our art and design LMGs. Teams worked really hard to bring the best possible night experience to the players. You'll see that play out the when you sneak in the shadows on the beach. Oh, the M16. It really makes people feel like they're in Miami in the 80s. It's pretty. Or the pretty Commando cool. or whatever it's called. I mean, that was the M16. Yeah. I mean, like, there's like 90 different versions of the M4. NATO has learned a large Soviet missile convoy is on its way to the border. Special forces dispatch alongside MI6 to ambush the convoy and secure the weapons before all hell breaks loose. Soviet convoy disabled. It's one of our most cinematic maps with a boots on the ground feel that feels pulled from the campaign. That feels Your pulled from the campaign. Your team will hold down and protect its own outpost to guarantee access to one of the I wouldn't read into that. I wouldn't read into that. The infantry much. combat doesn't take a backseat in crossroads. As natural terrain and foliage masks movements and provides tactical advantages. There's a bunch of snowmobiles when you first spawn, and it's a mad dash to grab one. And now, running people over with the snowmobile is my favorite. See, this just feels like ground each work. environment changes the yeah. dynamic of I how think that's you play what they're showing right now to unique part. loadouts. Crossroads is a bigger map, and that allows you to play the way you want to play. Didn't RC just blow up a tank? The beaches of Miami, yeah. a frozen over lake, the open ocean. Our visual research department racked up miles visiting them all. Because if you're gonna deploy around the globe in this game, that required them to do the same. The mission for our artist is absolute authenticity. Step one in that process is photo scanning thousands of real world objects, terrains, and materials. Those assets ensure our upgraded, physically-based renderer delivers the best-looking Black Ops yet. True 4K, high dynamic range with a true color and tone, ray tracing on systems that support it, photometric lighting courtesy of our Luminaire system, and overhauled contour terrain system. The result is gritty, it's believable, I dare say it's got ambience. Most importantly, it sets the perfect stage for multiplayer combat. On that note, Here's Matt with more on the modes and missions ahead. We've talked a little bit about where you'll play, but let's talk about what you'll play when you get there. In Black Ops Cold War, our classic game modes are returning and they're better than ever. From the tried and true Team Deathmatch, Domination, and Search and Destroy, to the return of the competitive game mode Control, control. we've taken a fresh yep. eye to all of your favorites. We're like encouraging that. more meaningful gameplay with larger capture zones and Domination. We're updating spawn systems and hard, hard point. And now we show strike. you where the next hard point will spawn so you can regroup, rotate, it shows you where the next hard point the next is. Fight. Across all of our That's classic nice. modes, okay. I forgot about that, but that, that was something they had announced. And competitive multiplayer experience yet. 
And while your go-to modes are coming back better than ever, let's talk about the innovative updated modes spawns. you'll be going to and next. With that, yeah. let me introduce you to my teammate, Marquis Gladney, who's here to tell you about the brand new this multiplayer the experience the we call VIP Escort. Okay. VIP Escort began with a question. How can we create a game mode inspired by the kind of real life, totally true, but completely redacted Black Ops that first inspired this franchise? The result also, know, is Extraction in its purest form, anyway. a new 616 objective-based game mode we call VIP Escort. In Black Ops, we normally task you with fighting, but VIP Escort turns that on its head with a new mechanic. If you're selected as a VIP, your number one job, it's to live. In this team-based op, your team will try to escort you off the map or eliminate the other team trying to stop you. As VIP, you'll skip create a class. You're too important after all. Instead, you'll deploy with the kitted out pistol, a smoke grenade, a spy plane for team intel, and a whole lot of hope that your team knows what the hell it's doing. The mission, stay alive and escape the map. To do so, you'll need to reach one of two possible exfil sites, which rotate over the course of the match to keep teams on their toes. There are stakes here. If you die, that ends this the round. Cool. But team up and you can get yeah. your squad back on their feet quickly via last stand and revive. Revive, okay, so that's... Each team's that's choices and knocked. tactics you, you create layers knocked. of strategy and counterplay and then you can revive. the best of Black Ops themes directly into this competition. Will you your team pull Cold War mind games and misdirection by splitting up really? the squad to draw fire and create distractions once, for like, the VIP? Or is a full way that, like, VR, more their revive. style? Will they travel ahead and scout, run protection detail, or take a bullet for you secret service style? My personal keys to victory? I stick close and escort the VIP and defend them at all costs. If the VIP doesn't make it out alive, it won't matter if you do. This new deniable operation only scratches the surface of what it means to play Cold War multiplayer. Okay, I mean, it kind of seems like safe cards, so but we want to share different. another new way to play that goes above and beyond that classic 6v6 experience you've come to expect. Combined arms is where multiplayer gets bigger and badder, okay. bringing together the best of multiplayer's large scale battles by combining infantry and vehicular <laughs> gameplay into a single cohesive combat experience. In combined we'll arms domination, ground players ground will board. deploy yeah. into 12 versus 12 battles, each customized and unique to its own environment. But these battles aren't just bigger or more chaotic. We've worked hard to ensure the two levels of boots on the ground and all-out vehicular warfare complement and enhance <laughs> one another on each map. Tanks, snowmobiles, wake runners, gunboats, and more. These vehicles amplify the action, sure, but they also create jaw-dropping moments right in the middle of the fight. The way I personally play combined arms depends on my mood. If I'm going for the win, it's rally time and I'm pushing to capture every objective on the map. Whether that means loading up a gunboat on Armada or popping smoke okay, so those are across the frozen lake in fight, whatever. I'm putting my tryhard pants uh, on and making it happen. Whatever. Yeah, combined and arms and combined domination. Arms. Combined arms, almost anything can happen. I'll seek out fun moments that aren't possible in other modes, like zip lining onto so the enemy ship and seeing how long like I can last before getting arms taken maps. out. Yeah. At launch, the only maps you can that we saw that weren't more was that one in, uh, maps and modes. in Russia and Miami. Each tailored and tuned to bring the most yeah. fun, the only frenetic two action in this format can deliver. Yeah. Take Armada, our most unique map to date. You saw earlier that the only life preservers on this sea-based map are your tactics, as each capture zone requires a different approach. Will you attack surgically with a two-seater wake runner, gather your squad and storm the main ship? From zip lines that traverse the map to all new neighbors. Just announce rank play. Armada is combined yeah. arms domination. Or league play, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't high care. Stakes, high have it in the game. Combat to the high seas. <laughs> On crossroads, you'll trade your wetsuit for a snowsuit, fighting for control of Soviet bunkers across the frozen tundra. With high powered tanks patrolling the frozen lake and surrounding roads, you'll need to choose how to take on those slow movers. So whether you're hopping onto a snowmobile for a quick flank, or rolling up your sleeves and sticking on some C4, the story is yours to write in combined arms domination. That's it for deniable operations for now. We zip lined, cross frozen lakes, and dipped into Miami's beaches. That's really just the start of the full deniable ops experience. Add up the work on your favorite classic game modes to the arrival of new modes like VIP escort and combined arms domination. And it all stacks up to our most ambitious okay. multiplayer yet. One you can play any way you want and in new ways you never expected. If you're a Call of Duty League fan, we have Here a we bunch go. of new stuff lined up just for you. Stay tuned.
This may be a multiplayer game built for everyone, but these will be your deniable operations. Specific competitive maps now, that are I'll turn it over to Tony to talk about what we mean when we say signature combat. I'm going to grab something drink over your back. Now, a lot has changed for us since the first Black Ops game, from our development pipelines to totally new technologies. But some things haven't changed. And after over a decade of making Black Ops games, we're more inspired than ever to keep honing in on that authentic, classic Black Ops feel, all while taking it to new heights. Okay, signature combat. This now is how the game feels. You, combat is more than just pointing and shooting. It's about how your operator moves and weaves through your surroundings. It's feeling the power of your weapon, how it reacts in your Time to kill seems really fast. The sound of bullets it's in between Warzone and Black Ops. They are being announced. I literally just said Warzone. Or, war, or, or, back well, okay, sorry. Authentic boots on the ground combat. And, and Black Ops. I mean, that's a huge difference, game, though. But build on all the classic foundations of Black Ops. You know what I mean? Like, Black Ops 4 was like, what, five, yeah. six bullets? And Modern Warfare is like this, two? Keeping I think player this is like our mind three or four. Has also it's going to feel like a normal call wave of, of thinking across our creative class and score streak system, where we're introducing features that bring unprecedented transparency to your planning and cinematic wow moments to when you're playing. Now, innovating systems while still capturing that signature Black Ops super smooth feel is a notoriously tricky thing to get just right. And we put everything we have into it for each game. Beta. This is an absolute team effort. So I brought some of my friends from the combat team to help tell you about our initiatives oh. for this game and how they've resulted in signature combat that feels just right. Here's Max Porter to start us off. We've taken lessons learned from across Black Ops and the entire Call of Duty franchise to land on it's a truly so best in class weapon mm -hmm. experience. The gun is almost always right in front of you and That's must look great. From a gun seams down to its grime, the level of detail in Black Ops Cold War has never been higher. But our weapons also need to move in a realistic manner. You'll feel it in this game, whether you're clocking from long range I like that hard point. or firing from the hip. When we think about a gun, we think about the way it looks, the way it's going to move, but a big part of a gun's oh, personality turn on is the oh, sound that it boy. makes. It's like the bark of the dog. That's the commando or whatever. We're sort of imagining yeah, yeah. all these guns. That's the uh, LG whatever. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Level Black Ops that 1. Sort of immersive quality that is unique to Call of Duty. That's the commando. It's and then the AK-47 using it, I think that's probably going to be the meta is commando Together defines the feel of Cold War's signature gun. I swear to God. Here's Alvin. Are you? I'm going to fucking kill these guys. I really am. What? I'll talk about later. Create a class. Let's talk about two of the most significant and impactful features of multiplayer. Create a class and score streaks. Our goal with create a class in Cold War okay, is so to power you I think, on without top. making trade-offs. This year, better starts with simpler. Create a class will be a slot-based system, the, that's the no M4. longer governed by allocations or the Pick 10 system. You'll always boast the XM4? four classes: primary, secondary, lethal, tactical, field upgrade, and a set of perks. Field okay. upgrades are items placed in the world yeah, to give your team an advantage. You can earn them solely okay. based on time, not score. Time. And they are not the only score, type okay. of game content that works in a cooldown that lasts after death. Now, wild cards are back. In this system, okay. in every class, you can pick one of four wild cards that let you do things like load your primary weapon with up to eight attachments, carry up to six perks, double the number of lethals Ooh. and tacticals you have, or carry three primary perks from any mix of categories. No, Molly. Of course, a key component of create a class is the gunsmith. Okay, so I'm guessing this will be like Modern Warfare. In Black Ops Cold War, there are more optics and attachments to unlock and configure than ever before. Every primary weapon can be customized with oh, it has this shit again across eight That's different it. nodes or attachment points with at least six okay. options per attachment. They have By them default, redacted. you can put cool. five attachments or what eight mean? with the gunfire wildcard. For the first Black time, line over Gunsmith them. will show you what equipping oh. an attachment does as positive. Oh, that's cool. So it tells you exactly percent. what percent. You can now build backwards. It increases yeah. Picking out the perfect I gun like that a lot. results you want to see. In yeah, but still, it's the whole this fact of like the they're taking it from Modern Warfare. And helps us. Like all yeah, like the bajillion yeah. attachments. Like the most balanced yeah. Call of Duty game you've ever played. So it's just gonna get into that meta, and then thing once people figure out what the best thing is. First up, we've updated score streaks so that earned score is kept through death. This change gives all players a chance to engage with score streaks, 
four is visceral and fun experiences, but you keep your score through, score through death. If you do go on a streak, I don't like that. Honestly, for your own death, streak score bonuses help Pretty you learn too much into randomness. higher powered score streak tiers. To prevent score streak spam, each score streak will go on a cooldown okay, after it's cool. to pace out frequency. So. What score There's streaks a cool are we down on score streaks. Well, yeah, your but favorites are still. Bad, but we've also got a few surprises. Score streaks and cold war. Okay, so grand launcher is a score streak. Classic ways to aid in taking an objective, to save your team, to break up the pace of the game with a fun new experience. We've also tailored strategy into the system. As score streaks can okay, often cool. be neutralized. So score streaks can take out score streaks. Now I'll pass it over to Sunny to share more about our operators. How they I like the hellstorm with the cool. uh, planes. Well, yeah. And helicopters and stuff. Elite, covert, powerful. When you play as a Cold War operator, you won't just step into the boots of a highly trained precision instrument. Every movement will have a purpose. To increase the fidelity and feel of even the smallest elements, modelers, animators, and concept Good. artists all work side by side, planning for every point of contact with every gun, every stance and position, every scenario. Thanks to increased dynamic bone counts, we've Sorry, been able what? to enhance the effects of physics and gravity on what you carry, from the weight of your gear, like pouches and grenades, to the way a wallet chain or rope sways as you sprint. Your entire operator will move more naturally than ever. Okay. Here's four specific ways movement has improved through new cutting edge techniques and animation. So we're gonna have like unique movement. characters. The first is sprint takeoff. This is the feature that gives your operator a running start. You start with a little sprint and then it slows down to normal speed. Okay. This lets you feel the momentum the of like thing? where you're going yeah. and where you're gonna end up. We wanted to preserve the fluidity see how that and fun out, of an operator's ability to slide. In Black Ops Cold War, when you slide, you start and end in a crouch position in a believable way. In a believable way. <laughs> player movement states to function better as one, all while improving gameplay and enhancing pace. Footstep control also plays a big part of the new movement system. Like that. Go faster and you'll make more noise. Oh, of course, yeah. We still have Ninja as a perk, but Ninja is no longer oh, the only way to cool. keep quiet. Whether or not you're crouched, how loud you that's get is so now cool. directly tied to how fast you're moving. Okay. Lastly, We've incorporated a classic jump with a much more natural height, which will very briefly slow you down on landing. Our goal okay. with all Interesting. of these movement mechanics is to ensure operators' actions are not yeah. just authentic, but intuitive. When you press a button or a key, you should always feel in control of your operator. And this system has been built to translate your decisions into dynamic movement more seamlessly than ever. The era of the game might be the 80s, but the characters you play will move and shoot like the world's most highly skilled operators. Signature okay, combat. Okay, interesting. Obviously, we'll it isn't just how a gun is shot. Wait and see. It's how that gun feels, how it sounds, how it's designed to create a combat experience. And combat isn't just about conflict. It's also a movement. So the fluid ways in which your operators shift around the AO and carry the gear you outfit them in is just as important you outfit as the choices you give them. Back. Choices like the overhaul creative class system. Yeah, they said it's a hybrid. All of those attachment and possibilities in Gunsmith. Or the okay. new ways you can earn and deploy score streaks in the thick of battle. These combat initiatives work together to deliver the most intuitive, possible, the back the M16. authentic, I also see boots on the ground too. experience possible. And they are at the heart yeah, of Black game. Ops Cold War. I know, but it's so on that strange. note, I'd like to introduce Miles, who's going to discuss some of the biggest innovations yet. Okay, connected experience, biggest innovation Thanks, yet. All right, everyone, let's talk Warzone. Warzone. You've seen how we're pouring it all into the Cold War multiplayer experience. But let's confirm it right here, right now. Black Ops Cold War will also usher in the next evolution Which we knew already. of Call of Duty Warzone, yeah. continuing and expanding the blockbuster battle royale free to play experience. And it'll be a true evolution, with Warzone not merely picking up where the Modern Warfare Climax left off narratively, but also interweaving the themes, locations, weapons, and vehicles of Black Ops Cold War right into the action. Cold War and Warzone will also share post-launch content from a narrative standpoint across both the Battle Pass Battle system Pass. and item shop Item Shot. Yeah. This interlinks Call of Duty in ways that evolve the Warzone experience while delivering jaw-dropping moments. So yeah, you can That's, expect some so surprises smart that along they the way. The, that they kept One that surprise we're avoiding is yeah. the feeling of starting over. It's important like they that should have. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Characters and weapons and progression-related items, which is why investment and progress in Cold War is reflected in Warzone. While these are two very big games, from the beginning they've been built to work together. Your player experience is everything to us. 
So we're making sure Black Ops Cold War and Warzone share progression. Ooh. With much of your previously earned Modern Warfare content, from weapons to cosmetics, still available for use in okay, that's Warzone what I was wondering. and Modern Warfare. Okay. We are collaborating with our studio partners across Call of Duty to preserve continuity while building a new chapter of Warzone that will immerse you into all of the best elements of Black Ops Cold War. That's multiple studios totally committed to continuing this new tradition of insanely fun, absurdly accessible Warzone action. We can't wait for you to see how Verdance and all of Call of Duty will evolve in the year ahead. But that sense of interconnectedness it extends beyond just Warzone. Okay, so it's just, they're gonna change That's the map. Why I'm excited to confirm yeah. that Black Ops Cold War will not only support cross-platform okay. play and progression, but will also deliver cross-generation play to the game. That's because Black Ops Cold War is, at its heart, a connected experience. And playing together on whatever platforms you prefer only betters that experience. Cross-play and cross-progression across Peace. current and next-generation systems across okay. all modes. Wait. That won't be easy, but it's worth it to allow fans who have never had a chance to play together to squat up and deploy, no barriers between them. Battle Pass system delivering a steady. So I would assume like Xbox One content. and Xbox whatever the new Black one is, Ops Cold War will and then PS4 or PS4 and then PS5. Cross generation Call of Duty experience, making it the deepest game in franchise history. Vaughn, where do we go next? Yeah, Miles, on the subject of platforms, we've got a very special guest, Mark from Beanox. Hey, what's up, Vaughn? Oh. I'm Jeff of Beanox. We are extremely excited and proud. I think oh. they're the creator of... Ups, Cold War. Oh, he's a that UI and UX director, whatever that means. PC continues to be a critically important face. pillar of game development in the Call of Duty franchise. In addition to the major improvements we have made to Call of Duty PC in the past, including uncapped frame rates, oh, he's the high refresh rate guy, support, and yeah. customized field of view, we're always looking for ways to improve so features is a company and that customizable works with, uh, settings. Modern Warfare. One of the biggest improvements this year is that the Black Ops engine now runs on DirectX 12. This has led to a huge improvement in terms of performance and latency reduction. For players who prioritize immersive gameplay, we have a great partnership with NVIDIA to bring okay. ray trace effects, performance accelerating deep learning super sampling or DLSS, and ray trace latency optimization I don't know what technology. Half that stuff is, we but... will implement ray trace shadows and ambient occlusion to improve the quality of light shadow and sunlight shadow. This improved surface and contact detail and fixes problems associated with traditional shadow mapping techniques like aliasing, freckling, and disconnected shadows. Also, we will be implementing AI-powered DLSS so players will be able to increase their frame rate while maintaining the visual quality of the game. For players looking for better responsiveness, we've integrated the Reflex Low Latency technology to lower system latency. This combines both GPU and game optimization. We're also happy to announce that Reflex will be coming to Call of Duty Warzone in the future. We have so much more to talk about, but right now I would like to end it back to David Vandor. Vaughn? Okay. We've declassified I wish had more a whole lot today. And one but. thing is clear. Black Ops Cold War is here, and it's ushering in a new chapter of deniable operations that are undeniably Call of Duty at its very best. Realistic, plausible, gritty. You've seen our team-wide commitment to storytelling, infusing the story and spirit of the Cold War narrative into everything we do, even in multiplayer. You've seen our emphasis on authenticity shine through every location, Don't every weapon, up. every vehicle, every character. Each one telling a story we can't wait for you to uncover and experience. You've seen us challenge ourselves to not only innovate on classic game modes, but introduce a new generation of instant classics. Modes like VIP Escort and Combined Arms Domination. You'll see that duo played today, and it's just the start, as we've got massive drops of free content planned post-launch, including new yep. and limited time modes. No matter what type of multiplayer gamer you are, you'll find something for you. Tying it all together is that signature combat you love. Grounded and always realistic, you'll move fast and fluid. Feel powerful when you need to be and customized just the way you want to be. 
The new creative class and scoring systems give this. you even oh, more fine. of what you love, infusing more control and cinematic moments with less friction between you and the gameplay than ever before. And this is a true connected experience. All of the general war zone stuff. and Cold yeah. War. The events in one will impact the events in the other, expanding Call of Duty in new ways you've never seen before. And Black Ops Cold War is not only a cross-platform game, but it's also a cross-generation cross-platform game. Now, that should be the end of our show, but this wouldn't be a Black Ops multiplayer reveal without some Black Ops-style mind games. We have talked a lot today about what Black Ops is, how it feels, what it does, but for over 10 years, Black Ops is also something else. A game that consistently presses the boundaries about what multiplayer means. Our team relentlessly looks for opportunities to offer new types of multiplayer experiences. In Black Ops Cold War, we're excited to be launching an entire new category of multiplayer gameplay called Fire Team. This new format of multiplayer brings together everything that we loved about making Cold War and everything you'll love about playing Cold War. Across every fire team mission and mode, you'll discover some of the most imaginative game loops we have ever designed. The fire team format allows us to emphasize teamwork and reward creativity, and it allows you to do things Tree. you've never done in Black Ops multiplayer before. You'll fight in squads of four called fire teams. You'll deploy into larger maps, play fast, pushing through multiplayer objectives and modes, Wait, what is this? good thinking. The action Tree won't team. just affect you, yeah, I know it's Fire Team. But what is it? Well, just watch. Enter Fire just Team Dirty Bomb, one of the most unique game loops we've ever imagined. You and your team must search for uranium, then deliver that uranium to Dirty Bomb's position around the map. Deposit uranium and detonate the bomb. Now, avoid radioactive fallout as you navigate a toxic battlefield. Every decision you make impacts your survival rate and your success rate. We can't wait to tell you even more about Fire Team Dirty Bomb and the other fire team modes and maps in the weeks ahead as we get closer to our public beta. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Let's play Black Ops Cold War. So confused. Didn't he say we were supposed to get CDL info? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, here comes the trailer again. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing they wanted to wrap the multiplayer and then double back and do for people that care about CDL, they're gonna play the trailer again here. Yeah, but I mean that's that kind of annoying. That would be or maybe guess. there's something else added to it this time. The trailer, maybe I don't know. But my right, guess would be realize. that they're gonna talk about competitive afterwards because you're it's here not, because you have a best I don't like that they did that to last, offer. But I think that could be what keeps the world is, from turning to singers. We work off the books. Operate in the shadows to keep the wolves at bay. Today, yeah. we reshape the world. What the fuck are we doing? In Miami, Miami, I think is my. I think Miami will be a cool search map. We've had night maps before. Like what the? Incompetitive? Um, yep. What's that West map for Black Ops Two? Um, it was a search. I think it was a search and a hard point map. I think it was CTF as well. Yeah, there was definitely CTF. I mean, it Black Ops 2 had Raid, it had... There was no, okay, so it was, it was, it was, it was uh, similar to Miami, I think it was like a speed up. It had a staircase in the middle, uh, and then a... Uh, the whole freeway, very, very basic freeway, totally. Go, go, go! I don't know. It was search, there was search and destroy, for sure. I can't remember. Here, let me search. Yeah, search and destroy. Secure the sub. I'll take care of this. I don't even remember that map, so that that might have been a DLC like later on. Oh no, I'll send it to you. Strike him down. Oh, wow. Ah shit. Soviet convoy disabled. I'll 
Also, I, I haven't really been watching the trailer, assuming that it uh, is the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, it is. Minutes ago, and I don't know about the streaks thing. Yeah. Attach says this is the best quality game of all time. Well, yeah, they're all fucking broke. Modern warfare and warzone. Wait. What's it do? What's it do? Zombies! Zombies! Yep. Okay, there's gonna be, there's gotta be more. Yeah, there's a hundred percent more. The end of the stream. Oh, magic! It is. There's a hundred percent more. No, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, booting sequence, hold on. We're getting more stuff. I think we're getting more No, there's 100% gotta be more. Oh, that map! It was called Plaza. Okay, yeah, we got more, we got more. Here's Welcome Maven. To the Call of yep. Duty Black Ops That's Jess, too. Worldwide multiplayer reveal. The depths and prayer just oh, okay, a first look into the details around CDL. the next generation yep. of global combat yep. for Cold War multiplayer. So thank I'll explain you, why I didn't like pumped to start this. Hold on, hold on. All the different deniable after, operations and but... signature combat experiences they've been talking about. This right here is where we step into the awesome chaos of multiplayer, and wow does what they've got on tap this year look good. We're going live with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, bringing okay, you so from dozens of top yeah. creators and okay. CDL pros from across the planet. We're from getting their early access. To our studio to sure, you in access. a way and scale we've never yeah. done before. Each one of them is about to deep dive into the game, and we'll be jumping on board with them to get this you all cool. the action from their point of view. Right here is the place where we're giving you the goods. Core 6v6 style Black Ops modes like TDM, Kill Confirmed, and Domination. And we're about to wreak some havoc in brand new modes like Combined Arms, which just happens to include the vehicle-fueled warfare we gave you a little taste test of earlier. This unprecedented worldwide reveal also means that you're about to get your first good look at That's the highly competitive VIP Escort mode. And as a bonus for everyone watching this stream, we'll also talk about how Treyarch is approaching free post-launch content for Black Ops Cold War, as well as how they've optimized multiplayer for PlayStation 5. This sounds awesome! Are you okay? Are you ready? Holy shit, yes, I am ready! Let's do this! What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm Nameless, and I'm here to make sure that you guys don't miss That's any of the too. crazy moments that we have yeah. throughout the day. We have some of the top streamers from around the entire world itching to play Cold War, and we're going to be kicking it off here very shortly. Nameless These looks guys so Italian have been right streaming. Now. These are your favorite guys playing, you know, <laughs> different games fingers that we've had together over and the everything. years, and <laughs> playing up some of them on the screen right now. Drifter. We're going to have some of the guys that I've been loving to play with and watch over the years. Bobby Poff Gaming, Drifter, Cat Conti. Cat, Gun, Legion, Nick you know Merckx, these guys from YouTube. Noah J. I was gonna say, why was all the big streamers not first? Being Nick Merckx, Noah J, Sean J, Symphony, Tim, Tim, Tim. Please tell me Dave, please tell me Dave. Oh, 100%. Armada, he's, Symphony, like, if he's not, like, Scump Tim is. Catman, hopefully he can stay on the map, and also try Max. It's gonna be an incredible day. We also have many more, as Courage. well as some of our CDL pros. They're gonna be CDL all pros. participating today. And now, let's take a look at what these guys are gonna be starting off with. We have 12 versus 12 combined arms domination on Armada. This is the first map ever to be fully on water. But let's kick things off, and I'm going to throw it to Maven and Merc. Thank you so much, Nameless. Uh, yes, for the commentary, and myself and Big Merc. How you doing, buddy? I, I'm just so excited to be here. Obviously, we love revealing these things, and while I cannot wait to jump into the gameplay, the trailers, they just look so darn good. Yeah, it's like death taxes, and we know we've got a new Ooh. Call of Duty every year, and I'm excited to get into this. And look at all yeah, the, the new modes, the new vehicles, all the stuff we're going to touch on, whether it's for casual player or competitive player, we're going to go through all the cool features this game has. Uh, we've obviously had some eyes on yeah. with it, seen some of the players playing it, looked at some of the internal Use stuff, and it's just sense. really cool, like the passion and excitement. Well, you saw from all the devs, everybody's ready to get this game out there for people to play. Yeah, just so many new things that we're going to be taking a look. 
Yeah, there's so many new Well, yeah, now everyone's probably going live with it. This map entirely on water. There's vehicles you can take around the map. You can play on the boats. There's going to be five different zones. It's first to 400. And well, there's just so many different Okay, so that's five flights. Right, so that's ground water. With Noah J, uh, the Easter with... egg man himself. He has been popping off lately. It's awesome to see his success. And obviously, a very hit your shots, Noah. player in his own right. We'll see if he can hit I with like a sniper. This, just taking a look at our good buddy. Like? Mud Dogs what? in there. Jericho, Teep. You've got a full Yeah, that kind of... So the UI does. Yeah, the UI and looks and very and much And just like right away, you over. look at this... Oh, I don't like that shotgun. They shot that so quick. And doesn't it just look like Treyarch? The color palette pops out. You have so many different attachments that we're going to be All right, is it lagging for you too a little bit? Yeah. You have the traditional Black Ops No one's is lagging. And I just love Treyarch. No, yeah. I love the minimap. So the first things we notice when you... Yeah, minimap back to normal. The useless compass at the top. as you'll see in pubs more often than not, he's up in a power position snipe in hand just looking to drop numbers but yeah i mean he's been around for so long comfortable with every dev every title as he's experienced everything call of duty has to this offer guy's on a six streak yeah it's, it's what nameless was saying just this is like what the first map that did completely on water you already Intel. see four streets all of our in. gameplay so footage you've seen was in, played on our own ps4 pro console team, the engine is definitely not as yeah, good in terms of his graphics first compared when he to first tweeted Warfare. out i was watching as you guys were introing Wait. it you know we're going through the devs and he goes sniping now that's on ps4 back noah's so excited you see the zip <laughs> it, it's always like that.